For the doctors and nurses of St. Jude, though, it's time to talk about them. It's not just medicine they are giving. They are also welcoming the patients into their daily lives as the children battle their potentially life-threatening diseases. This is why what you've done today matters. In that process, everyone inside the hospital becomes like family. The kids are amazing. Teresa Holmes has only been a nurse at St. Jude for two years. I had wanted to work here earlier in my career, but I didn't have little kids. I couldn't even watch the special on TV without crying <laughs> for days. But her work will live on forever in the lives of so many families. Holmes is assigned to the part of the hospital which focuses on patients with diffuse intrinsic pontinglioma, or DIPG. It's a tumor in the lowest part of the brain that controls most of the body's vital functions. A lot of my patients don't matter. It. From the time a patient arrives in her unit, the first medicine she dishes out is love. Because I'm afraid if I don't get attached to them, then I will have not loved them like they needed to be loved. So I just figure if I invest in them, then I know what they need. Holmes learns everything she can about the children and their parents, and she develops a rapport, almost becoming a member of the family. We play a lot, and we have stickers, and every time they come here, they get stickers. That's just a rule of thumb. If they have a painful procedure, obviously we let them get something out of the toy box. Holmes has been there through holidays, Halloween, and on her birthday. Birthday here, I'd, I worked, and I thought, ah, oh, it'll be no big deal. And uh, one of our most difficult patients, and he said, said stop and he sang happy birthday to me. All of the memories are still fresh in her mind. One includes a four-year-old boy who was nothing short of loving. And we'd had him for almost a year and a half and he came in very bad shape. He couldn't do a lot of the things and he was swollen from the steroids but he was sweet. Just a sweet, sweet kid. We knew that he was dying, and the parents couldn't accept it yet. They just weren't ready. A lot of the children in her unit get chemo and radiation, and it could extend their lives for weeks, months, or two years. Holmes says she wishes it could be even longer. Because we're all human. We have no supernatural power. And you love these kids. And when you're in there with a doctor that's just as heartbroken. But then the inevitable happens. Death is never easy. We try to love them through it and um, I think, think it works well. Even with all the tears and saying goodbye, Holmes says the job is still worth it. But when you come in and that kid hugs you around the neck, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter because it's all about them. They've experienced so much loss, but so many lives saved, too. Teresa has been a nurse for 13 years, and before she came to St. Jude, she tells us she could see up to 50 patients a day and not give them the care they need, unlike what happens at St. Jude every day. It's important to note that nurses feel that way about this research hospital. Mark and Elizabeth.